Hello, everybody, and welcome to the results show for the Nerd There at Large 2022, our summer 2022 betting draft. I am Commissioner Jeff Mayo. This is Vice Commish Ballas the Badoof. <laughs> And I am joined wow. today by contestants Jacob Hamill, hello, Will Outlaw, hey, and Darby Hallman. What up? All right. So if you didn't watch our initial betting thing, what are you doing? Go watch it. You might be a little confused. <laughs> um, but to give a little bit of what we did, I said draft, so that's what we did. I had a bunch of bets. These losers looked at it. These degenerates, and they. Drafted the bets and made their bets. And they all had a little team names. Um, to tell you what they are, I'm probably not going to refer to them too often because that gets confusing and everything. Will's team is the Feckless Altarias. That's right. Darby's team was the Taciturn Pelippers. Big mouth. Yep. And Jacob's was the Language Shellos. Weird little dudes. Yep. <laughs> and if you're someone who knows your Pokemon... Because I usually use the random gen generator for these. You might notice we have the mascots in little plush forms up in the front. Yeah. Um, and I've told Darby and Jacob this, Will. You know, we usually try to do stakes, but you guys are terrible about doing them, if we're being <laughs> honest. There's probably That's like right. three different betting punishments that still not been done. Yeah, we gave Will his milkshake. Yeah. That's about the extent <laughs> that we did. Yeah. But I decided to make this. We did do the TikTok. We did do the TikTok. I decided to make this simple. The winner just gets the the plush of their mascot. The little trophy. I like that a lot. Clams, That's yeah. great. Sit on you must sit on your desk. Yep. Yeah. Um, and something <laughs> else happen. that is unusual is that I kind of participated in these bets. By I can't wait for Jeff to win. <laughs> by taking whatever <laughs> leftover bets there were and within like a minute going through them and making my bets. Jeff is going to beat someone. That's my prediction. Oh, yes. Jeff is definitely not so, last. Uh, no doubt. There's yeah, that's reason. where we're going to start with the result. <laughs> um, by the way, I have a team name. It's the Ballin' Badoofs. Um, nice. Very, very yeah. good. Ball is good. my mascot. So yeah, we're going to go through my bets first and go over my total. So you guys know you don't want to be below me. Because yeah. <laughs> you all have more potential points than I do. Someone yeah, will or someone's will. <laughs> Absolutely. And the way I'm going to do the results once we get to y'all, I'm just going to go in betting order just to kind of keep up the suspense to make it harder to judge maybe where you guys are. Yeah. I like it. All right. But we're just going to go through my bets straight down. All right. Um, I did not have a wild card bet because I only made enough for y'all to draft it. But let's get to my three number bets. How many world premieres will be there at the Summer Game Fest kickoff? I, and I had within three to get it right. I said 33. The correct answer was 33. Oh, I oh my win. God. <laughs> inside <laughs> info. <laughs> insider trade. <laughs> I did not count the little trailers in the middle of things that were like definitely ads. I never count those. It had to actually be like a world premiere. This is why Jeff can't compete because yeah. he would just destroy us. He would just so, so we learned that he is the Jeff best. has Jeff Keeley on speed dial. Yeah, just yeah. immediately after the show. <laughs> <laughs> During summer game fast kickoff, how long will Gollum be on screen? Within five seconds. I said a minute. He wasn't there at all. So I got zero points for that. Little mm, goose egg. How many Square Enix games will be shown at major showcases within one? I said five. Answer was eight. Um, there was Final Fantasy 16 at Sony's State of Play. There was the Final Fantasy 7 event, which I'm counting, which had like four games. And then there were a couple games during the um, like three or so at the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Mm. So that's where those come from. Mm. First party bets. Will we see a new rabid version of a beloved Mario character? I said no. The answer was no. Got none of those yet. There might be a case of the ghost rabid girl being like ghost fluette, but that's not a beloved character. It's not confirmed. It's a fan it's theory. A Everyone, game theory. Some would say. <laughs> Will we see the new game from the Super Mario Odyssey team? I said yes. Answer was no. All we right, did not get many much as far as first party games go, so unfortunate. Zero points for that. Um... Will we see more than four Pokemon revealed 
for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I said yes. The answer was yes. It went exactly as I expected. It's the early game Pokemon and the two box legendaries. Mm-hmm. So I got two points. The chunk. The, the chunk. Our new Lord and Savior. Mm-hmm. Besides Badoop, of course. Um, third party bets. Will we see some of that sweet open world Sonic gameplay? Okay, well, we see Sonic Frontiers gameplay. No oh boy, did we see that. But no, was yeah, it but, sweet? Uh, I was about to say, the word <laughs> sweet is in there. <laughs> um, I put yes. Obviously, the answer was yes. Got a point for that. <laughs> Will we get a new character announced for Multiverses? I said yes. We did not. Unfortunately, no points there. Will we see a significant announcement for Overwatch 2? I said no. We did. We got a lot of shit. Let's go. <laughs> So I got zero points for that. So I have a total of eight points. I heard a lot of yeses there. I am concerned. Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't even have a wild card. So yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that's what's gonna save us. So let's get into it. Um, it might take me some time to kind of scroll up and down for the overall picks and all that, but let's get to it. Will had the first overall pick, and with it. He picked the bet. How many times will Jeff Keighley refer to a video game, TV show, slash movie? And it was within one. He answered three. The answer was two, which was The Last of Us HBO show and The Cuphead show. So you got three points for that. Wow. Very nice. All right. Very nice. All righty. Darby got the second pick. And with it... He picked, will we learn the title for the sequel, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Said yes. We did not. Mm. I tried. Shame. I tried, Jeff. And I thank you for it. Um, Okay, for Jacob. Will Bayonetta 3 get a release date for this year? Said no. The answer was no. We had not seen it, but some rumors are pointing to getting it soon. You <laughs> might have just yeah, counted missing that deadline. They said the summer. That's true. Or June. Because okay. if it was now, it's like tomorrow. It's still t- yeah. But yeah. You're right. So two points for that. Which one was that again you said? Bayonetta. Uh, the Bayonetta bat. Yeah. All right. Going back up to Mr. Willie from Philly. Um, With his second pick, Will picked... Will we get anything from Hellblade 2 regarding a date? Will said yes. Nah. Nope. Didn't get shit. Cause they, I can't believe it. Well, they decided to do their press conference just stuff in the next calendar year. So that's telling you where Hellblade 2 is at as far as development goes. Yeah, I'm shocked when I saw that calendar. Yeah. All righty. So zero points for that for Mr. Will. Darby. Will we get a release date for Marvel Midnight Suns? Said yes. Indeed we did. Definitely one of those bets like, yeah, we should be getting that. Yeah. Yeah. Got a point. Solid bet. Uh-huh. That's one point. Yep. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't explain this at the top. Um, there are four categories. I pretty much had this like a football team. Wild card bets count four. You only got one of those. Number bets count three points. Everyone got two. First party bets count two points. Everyone got three. Third party bets count one point. Everyone got five. Mm-hmm. Kind of give one of that. All right. Um, Jacob, will we see the Dead Space remake? You said oh, yes. We did not. Yeah, that's there really too many stuff. space games. We got the release date, <laughs> I think, but we actually did not see the game. They just kind of announced it. He had about he had about five games inspired yeah, right. by Dead Space. Yeah, but, I was about you know. to say <laughs> can't get like over and over again. A point. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at, and now going back up to Will. Will Konami announce a game? Will said yes. The answer was yes. Super random, Bomberman R2 uh, in the Nintendo yeah, Direct. <laughs> wow. That's exactly okay. what you thought, right, Will? That's exactly yeah, what I you when that. you you know, yep. For sure. <laughs> Easy bet. Worth a nice one point. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Darby. Will we see anything beyond just a very basic teaser for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2? Darby answered yes. We did. We got a little trailer, and yeah. 
I didn't know if that was but to before. I couldn't remember when exactly that happened. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the bet here, so it was definitely before that. Cool. Otherwise, I would not have had that bet in there. It's like, oh, that would have yeah, been true. it. True. <laughs> That's fair. True. Going back to Jacob, will the words "beyond good and evil" be <laughs> other uttered in that exact <laughs> order during the Ubisoft forward? <laughs> Jacob said, "Hell no." <laughs> technically correct in a no they did mutter it ubisoft did officially <laughs> it, yeah and like a officially. meeting thing financial meeting thing but it was not a ubisoft for it so it does not count so i still point. think it would be hilarious in the future what to have will beyond good and evil those words be said even out of order so you have to scour the power yeah, <laughs> to find be oh we found beyond we found good <laughs> we found evil <laughs> Bitch, I'll do it. <laughs> Be amazing. Going back up to Will. Will we get our date for God of War Ragnarok? He said yes. Unfortunately, we did, but not in the time frame we said. Wasn't it like a few It was days? going to be a yes, but they pushed it back because of Roe v. Wade. All the leaks were Deals saying it was. Bad. Um, so yeah, no points for that. <clears throat> Oof, buddy. Darby, mm -hmm. will Microsoft announce a first-party game that will be released this year? Because they had none at the time. Surely one of them. You said yes. The answer is yes. So Pen Pentiment from Obsidian. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah, they. Thank I'm you. Glad. Weird Obsidian game. Thank you I'm so much. That one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two points for Darby for that one. <laughs> Go on back round to Jacob. Will Microsoft have more anime boys than last year? Anime. Had five last year. The lot. answer was yes. I did not count them, but they had a Persona trailer that went through okay. three different yeah. Persona yeah. gems. They also had Kojima, over. It's which over. I counted for the sake of the bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did ask Jeff, does Kojima count as an anime boy? In my That's heart, awesome. he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know nope, Kojima did not count towards, did not if affect the results <laughs> i think it's okay i mean a anime boys that chart has to just keep going up and up and up right every year you have to have more anime boys the than last do not like, yeah the anime boy in inflation is out of control in 2045 there will only be anime boys <laughs> yes. at microsoft conference <laughs> back up to will will any of the quote-unquote big showcases uh, will we see a new licensed game announced? Said yes. The answer was yes. We got that alien game during Keeley's show. Oh, yeah. They didn't look particularly great, but um, we, don't, we don't even know because they showed about one and a half seconds of gameplay after the cinematic. So, you know, so weird. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Back around the Derby. Will we see Fable? <laughs> then, I'll, yes, just keep, I'll just keep I'll just keep betting no. until it happens. I'll keep betting until it happens. <laughs> Go ahead and lock me in for next year, Jeff. Whatever your All format right. is, lock me in on that one. Gotcha. <laughs> Jacob, who will announce more first party games? Microsoft or Nintendo? Then Microsoft? The answer is Microsoft. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. have they yeah. Yeah. Nintendo just didn't announce yeah. it. <laughs> Show enough. So that's another two points for the Jacob. All righty, back around to Will. Will we see gameplay from Avowed? Will said no. Answer was no. Two points right there. All righty, back around to Darby. Will we finally see Hollow Knight Silk Song? Said no. Ooh. You bet we oh. did. This is this is brutal. Like I got the bet the bet should have been release date because I just I swore if we saw it, there's no way we're gonna see it without a release date. <laughs> so I was like, I thought those things were two those two things were combined, you know. Locked in the hip. So whenever like it, there was no release date, I was like, Hell yeah, I won that bet. And then, like a few days later I went back and looked at it. I'm like, oh, oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the wording. Bam. It was mad lads. Yep, zero points there. Back to Jacob. Will Elden Ring DLC <clears throat> be announced? Brandish Said no. The Ring. answer was no. A point for Jacob. 
tarnished. We are still on the Will. Yep. <laughs> will Batman reveal himself? <laughs> and for exactly what that meant, just kind of announced or shown in a game he wasn't previously shown in. So, Gotham Knights. I would have counted Terry McGinnis in, in multiverses. Stuff like that. New Batman game in general. Or Suicide Squad or something like that. Will said yes. Answer was no. No point. No bat. Where's the bat? Where's the Cape Crusader? Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Okay. No. According to Gotham Knights. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'll start game not having the best. Is anyone recently. gonna play it to actually find out if that's true or not? Who knows? I'm not planning on it at this very moment. <laughs> um, during the Summer Game Fest showcase, this is Darius bet. Will a new game be announced that features zombies? The answer was yes. Answer was yes, just for The Last of Us Last Part of One. Us. Yes. It's a remake. I'm counting it as a new game. Yeah. Um. So that's a point. Yeehaw. Bet. To Jacob. During Jeff Keighley's showcase, will we see a Vampire the Masquerade game? Doesn't have to be new. Just gotta see one. <laughs> Jacob said no. Answer was no. I'm honestly There's surprised. Uh, you know? yeah. I'm surprised that, that one of them didn't show up somewhere. You know? Vampires. Yeah, here. <laughs> Werewolves. Right. Werewolves in. <laughs> Vampires only had a very brief resurgence. Then it was like a two month period where, like, oh, vampires are cool and it's gone. Yeah, well, sure. Dude, that's because it was Morbin time. Mm-hmm. So Morbius killed it. <laughs> Morbius <laughs> killed vampires. <laughs> it's dead. Brian everyone everyone go home. We're all Morbin here. <laughs> Back up to Will. Just for just to you know get everyone a heads up. We're at we're at the twenty second bet. Uh, overall. Um will Final Fantasy sixteen come out this year? Will said yes. No. Oh, nope. Why'd I say that? <laughs> Yeah, I think it was a fair assumption at the time. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no points there. Shame. All right, T. Going on to bet twenty three from Darby. Will we see Lady Demetrescu? Said no. Yes, we did. Why did we? Yep. yep. She's showing up all over the place. They can't show that game without being like, look at the tall lady. <laughs> well, I she's, gonna gonna she's going to step on it. I, I wasn't planning on counting like the VR edition or whatever, but when they showed um her playable mercenaries, I was like, okay, yep, that counts. Yeah, I just want like, I completely disagreed with Jeff. It was it worked in my favor, but after the PlayStation thing, he was not going to count that. Okay. With, like She was all over the place in that trailer. Yeah. I was like, okay. It was kind of a gray area because I, I kind of like this... Um, threw out like montages and stuff at the time, and that is a weird middle ground. But I was that was kind of more a spirit of the bet decision. But they nuts for missionary, so I didn't have to worry about it. No pitchforks today. Um, <laughs> going back to Jacob, will Fortnite announce a new crossover at Jeff Keeley's show? Said yes, the answer was no. Ah, dead game. Yep. I feel like we're not doing very good. I feel like Jeff is. Has the lead right now. What if he does beat us, beat all of us? I, I'm, interested. The... <laughs> I'm interested to see like if the um wild card is the only thing that keeps us from like keeps us beating Jeff. I think that I think that will be what happens. But if so, that's sad. <laughs> Back to Will. Wait, about that one. Okay, yeah, that one. How many double jumps? Oh Lord! During the Nintendo Direct, if no Direct oh, counts shit. at zero, uh, Will said three, and it was within three, so he had from Lame. zero to six. Lame. <laughs> the answer was two, just from little Noah. Big brain move. <laughs> Amazing. So I got three points for that. Oh, okay, sorry. I, I keep I keep forgetting that there was actually technically a Nintendo Direct. So I was thinking like, oh no, Jeff didn't have to count double jumps, but he did. He did. Yeah. I did count double jumps. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Only two of them. Though. It would be wrong. It would be wrong if Jeff didn't have to. Yeah, count I had jumps. to go through like, wait, is there a double jump during this Pac-Man game? No double jumps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. But yeah. Back to Darby. How many? Inkling slash Octolings will be spotted during the Nintendo Direct within two. Darby said four. The answer was zero. Mm, no splatting going on. So uh, no points for Darby. Why? And I put myself in the zero range. <laughs> He's not a coward. There. All right, moving on. 
the first wild card bet picked from Jacob. If I, Jeffrey B. Mayo, jump into a random <laughs> match of Halo Infinite and oh. just press forward, will the time it takes for me to be killed be longer than 20 seconds? Am Jacob I... said no. <laughs> You didn't believe in Jeff. Oh, no. And this is where Future Darby inserts the clip. Okay, I gotta make a time step. Okay, all right, I got it. <laughs> okay. Got my timer ready. I am pressing forward as the gods intended. So it was like nine seconds, so it was less. <laughs> was that good? Yeah. Okay. And the answer was no. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I died around nine seconds. Oh god. Wow. That's, he went, qu that's quick. Yeah, he goes forward and the like I thought he was gonna run into a wall, but he ran into a door that just opened and there was a guy oh, right no. in front of him. I was like, oh shit. Was like, oh no. So that God. is four <laughs> points for Jacob. Wow. Oh yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright. To the second wild card bet from Will. Will the musical artist that will perform a Jeff Keighley showcase name be more than nine letters? It's multiple artists, whichever one performs first. If none, it counts as zero. Will said less. There was no musical performance, surprisingly. Surprising. So the less wins. That's four points for Will. All right. All right. Arby, you might be the only one that doesn't get the wild card. No, uh, 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 you just wait and see, yeah. boy. <laughs> boy. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Sit hey, down. Will, sit, settle down. Settle down, please. <laughs> Jeff, get order in the court, please. please. Boom, boom. <laughs> Bail it, Ballas. Get everything in order. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Since no wild card was on the table anymore, Darby did not have to pick it because why? Would... Oh, it would be very stupid. If I had yeah. picked it, I would be very mad at myself. Because you're locked in for that anyway. So, mm -hmm. so, how many will die during Devolver Showcase with Finn 1? Darby not feeling there'll be a lot of bloodshed. Said one. I counted seven. <laughs> yeah. And they were killed in an explosion by Mecha Suda 51. So about to say, he, kind of, <laughs> he, kind of, he kind of killed the whole room of people there. So I just had to count the people. Yeah. In that yeah. room. Yeah. Should, should never never bet on a Devolver Digital Showcase not being bloody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. During, let's go into Jacob. During the Ubisoft Forward, how many blue people will we see with Ben 2? <laughs> Jacob said two. No Ubisoft Forward, no so zero people. people. Erasure. Though, you know, if this was a prolonged thing, you probably would have lost that bet because we're getting that Ubisoft Forward in September and mm -hmm. Avatar will be there. I did blue not know there was an Avatar play. game in development when I placed that bet, but. <laughs> yeah. Worked in your favor. Know. Know. Probably like, this is very random, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. particular. Just be blue. I don't know. Be blue in here. <laughs> just be blue. All right. The final round. Final bets for everyone. Will we see Netherrealm's new game? This was Will's final bet. Mm. Said yes. The answer was no. I have no idea yes. where that the that game is because after Mortal Kombat 11, they would have released like two games at this point. It feels like that was four years ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They kept it the normal time, then we've got some two games later. So it's wild to me they had not announced it. Better yet. be a juicy one. Yeah. I swear to God, it's just Mortal Kombat 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's so boring. It's um, Mortal Kombat 12, but they, they felt like if they released it only two years later, that people would complain, so they're, they're just sitting on it. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, the game's just done. Yeah. <laughs> Darby's final bet, the wild card bet. Will the iconic line, this is Miyamoto, be said? Darby said no, did not believe. They were right. Nah. Too. No, -uh. nope. No, nope. this is Miyamoto. We'll try to Four walk points. in here saying I didn't get my wild card bet. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and the final bet: How many games will be announced for Game Pass during the Xbox Showcase? Within three. Jacob said twenty. The answer: nineteen. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Three nice. points for Jacob. So nice Jacob job. Wiped the floor. Nice. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Gain to those Disgusting. results. 
I'm just feeling it. <laughs> you yeah. and your writing down shit. Don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. To, 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 so people remember, I had eight total points. Let's get to Will. Will had a total of 14 total points. Okay, so even with, the, even with the wild Jeff. card, he still would have still beat Jeff. Yeah. Darby. Barely beating me at nine. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> with the wild card. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, solid. And Jacob's score with 19. Oh, yeah. Making I'm him horrible. the winner of this summer's betting special. <laughs> and... A little uh, shallow I am honored. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shallows are bust. Yep. You know, it was it was a hard season, but we pulled through. So and... so it was funny reading through the bets, uh, or going through it and think Darby mentioned, Oh yeah, Jeff might have us beat or whatever. Or you missing we're not doing too well. Jacob only got two bets wrong. Nice. Hell yeah, Jacob. I was impressive. like keeping trying. I was like, I and, and they were both for one point. Yeah, I was like, I wow. got a lot of these wrong. Commanding you performance. Know, just another yeah. one, you know. What can I say? Disgusting. <laughs> just disgusting. Do we know what the, that puts the totals at? I I keep forgetting. I was about to ask. Yeah, I forget. Will was Will had more of the bookkeeping than. Yeah, let me see if I can the, bring the, it up. I feel like, I feel like Jacob has won the last several times now. To be at honest. least the last two, yeah, he is racking them up. That's for sure. It's a new Let's era see here. here if I can find it. Dude, I will be the game master. <laughs> no, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last count. Let's see. This was before we did the uh, game awards, though. So. Yeah. Was that? Did Jacob win that? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Hot. Street. All right. Hot so street. I won four out of nine. Darby two out of nine. Jacob is now, well, okay, no, not out of nine. It must be out of 11 now. Anyway, I won four, Darby won two, Jacob's now at four. Ooh, all right. Ooh. Game oh, awards, you're, you're, be there. You, you hey, don't forget better, my one. Uh, yeah, and Jeff's one. And, and Jeff's one. one. Out of two, though, so still yeah. the best performance. <laughs> so I mean, you like wrestling um, promos now. That, uh, be, okay. a, we have oh, a green oh, screen. I literally yeah. have a green screen. <laughs> If we're talking about pure stats, Jacob's pretty good because mm -hmm. he's at four out of eight now. Ooh, so he actually yeah. he's tied with Jeff. 50%. Mm -hmm. Solid. Uh, so we had yeah, 11 and you were only on eight of them? I didn't know you were not on that it many was on the early ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah the early ones were then on the first couple. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So Very speaking, good point. Lead. <laughs> speaking of it, I am probably going to hate myself for going this far in advance and stating my intentions for this, but fuck it. <laughs> oh, everybody. So obviously we're going to do a attempt to do a game awards betting special. Um, I mentioned this to Darby and Jacob. I was planning on having this part done tonight, but I kind of forgot last minute. So we're planning on doing this a little later, maybe for the next podcast, if everyone gets it done. I want the three of these gentlemen to do their early predictions for the Game Award GOATI nominees mm. based on what's out okay. so far and what's coming. I want you guys to have time to be able to look to see the, like what's come out and everything, do a little research. So I'm not going to put you on the spot here. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I was thinking about um, how, how would I use these results? I came out with a way and Jacob and Celeste inspired me. Because they were talking to me about The Bachelor last night and The Bachelorette, yes. which we watched a little bit of today. So I, I got bodied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a fantasy yeah, league. Like a thing. I, I went to oh, the betting special. That's I awesome. lost the first week for The Bachelorette. So again, I'm probably going to hate myself for committing to this is what I'm going to use this for. I will probably say I have the right to potentially change my mind if it becomes too difficult. But what I'm going to do here is based on the results of how good you are, as far as predicting the nominees, I'm going to kind of do it bachelor style, bachelorette style for the bets. I'm going to give you some vague descriptions of the bets, and we're going to do another draft. Depending on how many you get right, the less vague they'll be. 
Hmm. So if you get it completely wrong, I will just say this is about a video game. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you, yeah, we're gonna do a draft style. I'm going to do like this and send you all different sheets. Mm-hmm. But instead of me just copying and pasting, your sheets will be completely different based on how many nominees you get correct. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. As far as rough. general descriptions of the bet. Damn. Oh, okay. Damn. This is just a rough idea I had, but it sounds fun and stupid, so I figured, why the hell not? Commit early so I don't have time to pussy out. This is how the sausage gets made. <laughs> Jeff is just slowly losing his mind and trying to up the ante every single time until eventually he like puts a gun down. Yeah. He's like, what of you? We, we wake <laughs> up for Raleigh like, handcuffed in some basement and there's like a key somewhere. Yeah, so I just kind of came up with that like two hours ago. This one I said kind of makes sense to everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's how, it, I mean... As far as exactly, I, I guess, I'm going to I'm write a it out. by like it, it's vague wording, so we don't know what we're betting. Like, so we're placing a bet, but so, we don't so, know what the no, bet is. You, like... You're going to be drafting bets like this time, but you won't mm. know the exact words or what the exact bet is besides like a little description. So, mm. like, if... what if? Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say that's fine if we wanted to do that. I was just going to uh, offer an alternative. What if? What if it's uh, it bases our like who goes first who's able to pick in the draft first and maybe if you like get a bunch of them if you get a bunch of the goatee uh nominations right then maybe you can make two picks in a row or something like that so that we at least know what we're betting on so it's not as vague that's just an idea Uh, you're you're gonna know what you're gonna be betting on okay um but as far as you're just not gonna have be as sure as far as what the bet you're actually betting you're gonna be picking is like, you're going to have a vague description. Oh, I'm going okay. to have them in a chart. Uh, you're all going to have the same bets to pick on, but the description you guys have will be varying degrees of vague. Okay. And you pick, like, one four, like, A4. So it's almost like a Jeopardy thing or whatever, but yeah. it's like you just don't know what you're, you don't know what the category is, hardly. Like, yes, you'll get vague things. So, like, if you, do te- if you do not too great, you'll know this is a Nintendo bet. Okay, that makes more sense. That yeah, makes yeah. more sense. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like once you yeah. pick your bet, I will say exactly what the bet okay, is. Okay, I got it. No, that no, you're not going to be. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the actual bet, you were like, it's about a video game. What's your bet? I was yeah. like, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I was like, I'm going to roll with it. Jeff's the game master. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is the this is craziest idea yet. But, but, yeah, no, I, 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 think that, I think that's cool. I like that. I agree. But, and Celeste mentioned something about yeah. helping me write it to make it, them sound more witty. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, well, I mean, feel I free to punch. adjust however you need to by yeah. them. But, but that, that is my early cool. idea that I'm throwing out there, so I have less chance of chickening out. Everyone, keep in mind that Callisto Protocol is not eligible because of Keeley's dumb cutoff. So just right. FYI, right. For if you're predicting nominees, because yeah. that would be one of them. What is the cutoff? December. It's it's usually mid November. So just oh, wow. just kind of assume November fifteen ish is it? So like God of War Ragnarok, based on past years, should be eligible. And Skull and Bones. True. Ooh. True. Can't forget Don't that. Forget that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How could we? How could we? Will. <laughs> so yeah, I will ask these fine people, gentlemen, ladies, whatever you want to call them, to um come up with that maybe by next week when we record the podcast. Just. These two will probably be on it for sure. Well, you can kind of just send me. I can read yours off if that's cool. Okay. At some point, just whenever you get those done. Yeah, man. So, yeah. yeah, works. Sounds like the plan. Hey, Congrats, yeah, Jacob. Yeah. Yes. Congrats. You're right Congrats, in the Jacob. Continues. I know. But we'll see. Game Awards. Be there. Square Hell in a Cell. <laughs> the showdown. <laughs> Please let me shoot a, a, a promo for you. I'm yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Peace. Bye.